Hello, my beautiful Gemini people. Welcome to this reading. This is a general reading for the full moon energy. We are still in the full moon energy of Aquarius. Um, we had yesterday the full moon in Aquarius. You have still time to do your manifestation job if you uh, haven't. So this is for my Gemini people. I will check your overall energy. Then I will check um, for who is dealing with the past or current person in your life. If you are in any relationship. Uh, and also for singles. What is coming towards you for this week? If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button uh, if you wish. My email is in the description box below for anyone who wants to contact me for any information, questions, anything about the reading, whatever. And my PayPal link for donations is also in the description box below. So let's see Gemini overall energy, please. Let's see your overall energy. The Hermit. Virgo energy so I think you are in deep soul reflection I don't know if it's about the new moon the king of swords if you are dealing with uh, an air sign you are an air sign also maybe this is your energy or if you are dealing with uh, someone yes I have here also the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Knight of Wands is a very attractive, handsome person, very passionate energy. Let's see the overall energy for my Gemini people. The Four of Wands, the Four of Wands, well... Someone here wants his or her freedom. Yes. We have the three of cups. Well. Well. Uh, I don't know why. I, I still remember your previous reading with the third party situation. Leo energy. Well. I see that the majority of you are trying to find your uh, strength, your power. You are going within. You are dealing with a kind of player, flirty people. You are working very hard to find your energy, your courage, your balance. With this ten of swords here, a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress from this person, whoever you are dealing with, strongly fire sign for the majority of you that you were in a long-term commitment or you were uh, planning about <clears throat> taking this uh, to the next level this connection well there is a third party here that you may have found out at the bottom of the deck i forgot uh, to check i have the five of cups this is the energy of um sadness i have sadness here i know that my lighting and camera is not good sadness ten of swords the hermit, you kind of, uh, you are really struggling very hard. It's a lot of pain here. So let's see Gemini dealing with a past person. What's coming towards Gemini dealing with a past person? Oh, the ace of pentacles. We have a new offer here. And at the bottom, I have the five of wands. This is an inner conflict about this offer. 
of a, for reconciliation because we are do, talking about a past person. Listen to me, my dear Gemini. Um, yes, somebody is coming in for the long term with this Ace of Pentacles from your past. But this person only wants victory, recognition. This is recognition at the bottom of the card. This is about ego, about pride that this person has and they want a victory. They are offering the long term, the stability. They are promising the future, but pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to their intentions, the intentions of this person. We are talking about the past person, yes, because the lovers, Gemini energy, you are not the only one in this person's life. And for many of you, you know this. If you think that this person has changed with this Ace of Pentacles, no, they didn't, unfortunately. Uh, Strongly fire sign, guys. The Queen of Wands at the bottom. I don't know who is dealing with a fire sign or if this is a passionate person, handsome, fiery, attractive. So what is this person bringing to my Gemini? Well, we have a reconciliation here. Mm -hmm. The angel of destiny, I guess for many of you, you haven't learned your lesson uh, and you keep repeating circles around the same pattern, unfortunately. Uh, at the bottom I have the seven of pentacles. I see that you want this reconciliation because you believe that this person has changed this is how they present themselves to you but unfortunately i have here the page of wands the page of wands you know this is a player energy a flirty energy a passionate energy this person has not changed they keep repeating the same pattern they are still players. I have here also the lovers, the three of cups, the page of wands. This is a page, guys. This is uh, someone who is uh, childish, immature. They just want to, um, how to say this? They just want to uh, fulfill, uh, to satisfy their ego, let's say. Uh, there, pay attention to their intentions, guys, because uh, it's uh, this person hasn't changed at all, at all. So uh, I was about to ask uh, Gemini dealing with the current person. I have the Queen of Swords. Maybe this is your energy. We will see the Ten of Cups. Yes, at the bottom, you are in a commitment. You are tired, you are not playing games, yes, you want something solid and stable, you have many options, or if you are dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, I have choices here, or oh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the devil. I don't know why this energy all the time coming up in my Gemini people. Um, um, why do you have all these players around you? I know that we are full of uh, toxic people. Yes, the Five of Cups. So... Uh, Somebody is making a choice here uh, for leaving something behind in this connection. 
Yes, a lot of deception, guys. The Seven of Swords, a lot of lies. And with the Queen of Swords here, the Queen of Swords is someone who is... Um, who doesn't play games, who is... Uh, um, <clears throat> loyal and honest and decision maker but we have here um, uh, deception lies i don't know what did you find out or what will you find out let's clarify the seven of swords here for my gemini uh, well I don't know if for some of you are dealing with a married person, Taurus energy, not necessarily. Well, or somebody was married and you didn't know, or they are married and you don't know. I don't know what is going on here, uh, but the lies are concerning a marriage, yes, with another person. The lies, the deception is about uh, another person, woman or man, take it according to your gender. This is a free, open-minded channel. Um, this is about another person that this, your person was involved in a long-term commitment, a long-term relationship in the past, and uh, they possibly left this commitment, or they left them. But really, I'm picking up that uh, for the majority of you, this person left because this person uh, had other choices or maybe they are choosing you or they chose you because I see someone getting out from a marriage here. I don't know if this is your energy or your person's energy, but <clears throat> for sure there are a lot of things that are hidden this person whoever this is they don't say the whole truth guys i had this in my last reading also about the third party it is here again um well For some of you, I think that the person is living from a marriage to cho for choosing you or you are, uh, but this is your energy, actually the queen of swords. <sighs> yes, you will find out about this other person who stepped into this commitment. This is a person from your person's past for the majority of you. Mm. Yes. Ah. What are you doing? The Four of Swords, healing. Guys, you need to heal. I said this many times. Uh, yes, I know it's easy to say it. Uh, I have been there. Uh, yes, for sure there is a third party. Even if you are dealing with a past person, even if you have a... If you are in a relationship now, yes, I have at the bottom the Two of Cups for those who are in a commitment. 
guys, this person is not telling the truth. Uh, I don't know what they are hiding from you. Um, but you will not find out everything. Yes, you are in a union with this person, but you are not the only one in this commitment, in this connection. I don't know if you are dealing with someone who is married, uh, but I'm picking up this player's energy, this uh, non-committal energy, not putting all the effort, um, not put, not um, willing actually to put the effort because they love flirting, why not? <laughs> For them is this is uh, childish behavior, it's also ego. It's uh, about recognition, they love to be popular. Uh, Yes, uh, for those who are married, guys, this other person is, uh, it started as intimacy, as something uh, not um, for the long term, as a, as a game, let's say, but... Uh, this woman or man uh, in the end um, they became like a habit to this person they love these uh, passionate moments that they share Well, um, I, I know that uh, it's not um, what you want to hear. <sighs> Too many. What's going on with my Gemini singles? Let's see my Gemini singles. The nine of wands. A lot of heavy energy here, guys. What is coming towards my singles, Gemini? Singles. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles. Well, I think... Well... You love to be single for some of you because you are afraid of the commitment for the moment. You are afraid that maybe everyone is a liar because in your past commitment you had lies, issues, um, challenges. Uh, oh, communication. Eight of Wands. Communication coming in. Uh, but this person, be careful, guys. Mm. Because this person may be in a relationship or um, in a marriage, okay? For a few of you. Well, we have a contact here, a message, a call for my singles. Gemini singles. Mm. The page of pentacles, yes, a new offer, but I keep seeing at the bottom of the deck the eight of swords. You are very confused. You, uh, you don't know, you are actually, I am picking up fear of commitment. I don't know, correct me if, if I am wrong. This is for some of you. This is the energies that I'm picking up. Wow. 
oil so it's someone from your past a death scorpio energy well a reconciliation here but guys i'm telling you be careful about these person's intentions whether you are in a commitment whether you are about to have a commitment an offer whether i mean if you are already talking with someone for building a commitment be careful because yes they want a reconciliation they want a new beginning i see this offer the page of pentacles for uh, the long term but you need to um it for some of you it's a person that you have been waiting for a long time to come back with this temperance card or it took this person's uh this person uh, a long time to uh communicate with you because i for some of you 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 had no contact you were blocked or something i don't know and um i see so much enthusiasm that it may confuse your logic for taking the right decision mm. the hand man well somebody has an obsession here the hand man with the dead well somebody was not able to get over you guys <laughs> i love this <laughs> unforgettable uh-huh yes the knight of swords they are taking action towards you ah they want a future the ten of cups the three of wands huh well they cannot get you out of their mind um i see there was a conflict and um maybe that's why how this ended but guys this person cannot get you off of their mind yes anything else for my gemini for this week oh the tower so unexpected i told you you haven't talked to this person for a long time huh or maybe this person was in a long-term commitment and you were not expecting this person to come back you thought everything has finished but guys this is a totally unexpected communication and offer for my singles here the ace of swords mm. well uh, victory victory and truth truth the truth for some of you it will be shocking the seven of wands challenges there is something that you will learn for whoever is already in a commitment marriage whatever this is that will shock your world guys um and um from all these seven swords that this person is hiding you will learn only one of their hidden truths because they have so many so many and it will hit you very uh, very very hard uh Gemini.
Voilà. Any other messages for my Gemini people for this week, please? Conflicts, arguments, we have a loss here at the bottom of the card, loss. Well, guys, be careful about these persons' intentions, five, five, five of swords, five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, many arguments. You feel like this situation is going nowhere. You are in a commitment and or in a marriage, whatever, and you are still feeling lonely. Yes, this is the energy that I'm picking up. That you are in a relationship, you are in a commitment, yes, but you are still feeling lonely. I don't see any point, actually. So let's get some advice for my Gemini people. Oh, it came out. The initiation. Crossing the threshold. Well, uh, there is this, um, there is um, a challenge that you need to overcome. I think you need to get unstuck to step out of this energy that you are here. Um, and um, I will pick also from the monology. Let's see. Any messages for my Gemini, please? For the situation that they are into, anything that they need to know. Oh, oh, too many guys. Any messages for my Gemini people? Full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Well. This goes with this crossing the threshold. This goes with the other oracle advice here. Mm. Yes. If you are in a commitment and you still feel lonely, full of arguments, full of verbal, physical, I don't know, emotional abuse. I don't know. Uh, uh, and I see you isolating yourself. Uh, you are feeling lonely anyway, with or without them. I don't see any point, guys. Uh, but for my singles, yes, there is something good, but be careful always for for the red flags and for the person's intentions well this person couldn't get over you my single gemini's they are still holding on to you after a very long time they are still into you they are obsessed with you. They couldn't get you out of their mind. Mm. Well, guys, have in mind that these readings are general, okay? And not personal. Uh, of course, you can contact me anytime for anything you wish. In my email. Uh, but... These readings are general, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Also, remember that timing is fluid. If this resonated with you in any way, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this reading. 
so I can continue doing readings for you, for Gemini. Um, also, um, if this reading didn't resonate with you, I'm telling you these are general readings, not personal. This is the overall energy for what I'm picking up for Gemini. Uh, if it resonated with you, I am really grateful for, uh, for giving me this chance and this opportunity to read for you guys. I am thankful and grateful. If this resonated with you, you can let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to donate, you, you are free to do so. Uh, if you want to contact me, you are also free to do so. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching.